Welcome to the Saint of the Day podcast, a service of Good Catholic and the Catholic Company. Join us each day as we share the story of a unique saint in three minutes or less. Today's saint is Saint Monica. Saint Monica was raised in a Christian home in North Africa. Early in life, she struggled with alcoholism, sneaking bottles of wine from the family cellar before being caught in overcoming her habit. She was later given in marriage to an ill-tempered and adulterous pagan Roman official. She suffered greatly on account of her husband and that of her unkind mother-in-law with whom she lived. She fervently prayed for their conversions over the course of many years. Her patience and kindness became a source of encouragement to other unhappy housewives with whom she came into contact. Monica gave birth to three children and she was grieved that her husband would not allow them to be baptized. Her eldest son, Augustine, was a wayward child and caused her the most pain, and she prayed fervently for decades for him to become a Christian. Through her persistence in prayer and good example, her husband was converted shortly before his death. When Augustine became entrenched in heretical sex and moved to Milan, St. Monica followed him. Monica befriended the Bishop of Milan, St. Ambrose, who consoled her by saying, The child of those tears shall never perish. Augustine was eventually brought into the church by St. Ambrose. Everything we know of St. Monica's heroic virtue is from the writings of her son who became the great St. Augustine of Hippo, one of the most influential saints in church history. St. Monica is patron of housewives, difficult marriages, alcoholism, mothers, widows, abuse victims, victims of adultery, and disappointing children. Her feast day is August 27th. I invite you to do two things today. Call your mom and say a prayer for her as well. St. Monica, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in. This is a Good Catholic Podcast. If you like what you heard, check us out at goodcatholic.com and make sure to subscribe.